Hello and welcome to Mute Gamer Zone. I don't have an intro, so let's just start. Stardew Valley is a game that mixes farming and adventure. It creates a detailed countryside world that's fun to explore. Here's a closer look at the game. You begin by taking over a rundown farm. Your job is to make it better by planting crops, taking care of animals, and doing other farm tasks. You earn money by growing and selling crops. In addition to farming, you can also fish, mine for resources, and fight enemies. You can explore caves, battle monsters, and gather materials to make things. The game also has special events and parties throughout the year. The game happens in Pelican Town in Stardew Valley. There are many characters in the town, each with their own story. As you play, you can help the town grow and change. As you do different activities, you get better at them. For example, farming, mining, fishing, and fighting. As you improve, you unlock new things you can make and become more efficient. You can play with friends in multiplayer mode. You can all work on the same farm, share resources, and even get married in the game. The game has simple but nice looking graphics. It runs well on different devices, so it's always fun to play. The menus and maps are easy to understand. It's simple to move around and interact with things in the game. Controlling the game is easy. You can use a gamepad or a keyboard and mouse. Stardew Valley is a game that starts easy but gets more interesting as you play. You can take your time and enjoy the game. It's relaxing and and fun. The mix of farming and adventure keeps you coming back for more. Lizards Must Die is a game where players go on adventures in a made-up world called Hyperborea. It's set in ancient Russia, and players have to protect the land from evil lizards and other scary creatures. In the game, players have big fights where they can choose different heroes to battle the lizards. Each hero has special powers and ways of fighting, so players can try different strategies. They use cool moves and fast attacks to fight. Sometimes, they get extra power from a god named Perun. The game's story is based on old Slavic stories, and players protect special places like Baikalsk and Hyperborea. As players progress, their heroes become stronger by defeating enemies and completing tasks. While most of the game is for one player, there's also an option for multiplayer where players can team up with friends to tackle tough challenges. Players really enjoy Lizards Must Die, and it has received high ratings on platforms. It's especially popular among those who enjoy action packed games and stories inspired by ancient legends. In Dredge, you get to fish in a world full of spooky things. At the start, you have a basic boat, but as you play, you can make it better. You'll need upgrades to fish faster, carry more stuff, and avoid dangerous things hiding in the water. There are five different areas to explore, each with its own secrets, missions, and types of fish. While Dredge isn't all about managing stuff, you do get to make your boat better as you go. This helps you deal with the challenges you face while fishing. The game happens in a creepy place called Greeter Moreau. You begin by being saved by the people who live there and given a new boat to start your fishing adventure. As you upgrade your boat and become better at fishing, you also get better at other things in the game. The game looks cool with its simple art style, it creates a spooky atmosphere without needing a powerful computer. Playing dredge is easy. For example, when you're fishing, you just have to press buttons following what the screen tells you. Dredge is a unique fishing game with a scary twist. It's fun to explore and manage resources in a beautiful world. Even though you can't play with friends, playing alone is still a satisfying experience. Next game is Muck. In Muck, you have to survive on an island. You collect stuff, make things, and fight enemies. Everything on the island changes every time you play. Muck mixes regular survival game stuff with random surprises. Players have to gather things, make tools, weapons, and armor, and build a safe place to stay. They have to face tough challenges from the environment and enemies that show up at night. The game changes between day and night, and it's a big part of how you play. When it's daytime, it's safer, but at night, things get scarier. In the game, you can make lots of things to help you survive. You can build bases to protect yourself from enemies that come at night. There are also special power-ups you can find or make to make the game more interesting. Muck takes place on an island, where everything changes each time you play. There are different parts of the island with different things to find and challenges to face. You have to change how you play to deal with these challenges. This online game is all about monkeys fighting, and it's really enjoyable. The main part of Ape War is how you play, which is easy to understand, but has enough complexity to keep you interested for a long time. You create a team of monkeys and plan how to fight against other players. The game wants you to work together with your team, and when you do it well, it feels really good.
The maps in Ape War are smartly made. They have different places like jungles or open fields, so you need to change how you play. It's always interesting because there's something new to deal with every time. The pictures in the game are bright and fun, matching the theme really well. The sounds are also great, with each monkey making different noises that make the game feel fun. That's it for our video. If you liked our picks and want to find more great games, click the like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications. Keep playing, and I'll see you in the next video.